Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In February, the Russian military invaded Ukraine with the intent of replacing its democratically elected government with a Russian-controlled one in the largest European land invasion since World War II. In response, President Joe Biden deployed several thousand troops to NATO member countries that border Ukraine to assist with refugees. Meanwhile, last July, U.S. Border Patrol reported its highest total of monthly encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border since March of 2000. Some Republicans draw a contrast between what they perceive as Biden's weak response to the Mexican border situation versus what they perceive as his comparatively stronger response to the Ukraine border situation. Now, although what one has to do with the other is unclear, two new Republican bills seek to tie the two together. The Secure America's Border First Act would ban the use of federal dollars to assist Ukraine until the U.S.-Mexican border achieves quote-unquote operational control, including a border wall, as per former President Donald Trump's famous campaign pledge. In fact, the bill even requires the wall to be at least 30 feet tall. It was introduced in the House by Montana Republican Representative Matt Rosendale. The Ukraine and Southern Border Act, or USB Act, would at least allow the U.S. to support Ukraine, but mandates that the number of armed forces members deployed there be less than the number deployed to the Mexican border. It was introduced in the House by North Carolina Republican Representative Madison Cawthorn. Now, I usually end these videos with a joke, but Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was literally a professional comedian and comedy actor before becoming president. I mean, geez, I, I can't compete with that. I mean, I, I think I'm decently funny, but not enough to become president, only enough to become like director of the Office of Management and Budget.